Good morning, as a student. This is your math teacher, Monsieur All. Hope you are all safe. Our lesson today is about simple interest. Uh, what do we mean by simple interest when we use simple interest uh, and the formula for the simple interest? In fact, uh, we have some words that are used in our daily life I've, as uh, deposit, loan, interest, uh, which are necessary to plan our work and to improve the income by a suitable way. In fact, the interest is the income or the return of invested amount of money or in fact it is the price fee or rental charge for the temporary use of someone else money in fact here we use someone else's money or the money of a bank or a company of whatever if you deposit money in a bank the bank will pay you interest for the use of your money so in this case, the bank is the borrower and you are the lender. In the same way, if you borrow money from a bank, you will pay the bank interest for the use of the bank's money. In this case, the bank is the lender and you are the borrower. What do we mean by simple interest? We collect always the same interest every year and always on the same uh, original amount. What do we mean by this? Using simple interest, if you borrow one thousand dollars from someone else you are going to pay him a, a rental fee or uh, an interest uh, on uh, this, this amount every year for five years so if you didn't or if he didn't take the interest you are not going to pay him also an interest on the interest each year you pay on the original uh, amount of money which is one thousand dollars the interest that is computed on the principal for the entire period of time uh, the principal is borrowed or invests is called simple interest. It is directly proportional to the time of deposit or borrow. Usually the simple interest are used for inter uh, uh, investments and loans of short time. And when we use the interest is uh, four times less than one year. Uh, for a few months for days or whatever here in this case we use what simple interest but for loans for long term more than one year we use compound interest that we are going to see in the next uh, video by the way the economical year in math is 365 days for a regular year and 366 days for a leap year in the economics uh, lessons you use 360 days i think Usually the day uh, of pay off is counted where is, whereas the day uh, of the loan is not. To find the simple interest, you must know the initial sum of money borrowed or invested, the period of time and the interest rate per year. And here to calculate the interest, I need to know what is the, uh, the amount of money borrowed, uh, what is the period uh, I'm going to use uh, this money and what is the interest per year. How we can calculate uh, the interest on the simple interest? Simple interest formula. IN, which is the interest, equal the amount of money invested, C0, the uh, duration in years or whatever. Uh, in fact, yes, the duration in years. And I, the annual interest rate. Annual means yearly. Okay? Annual is yearly. Yeah, the yearly interest rate. The future value uh, of the, uh, this amount used, it will be equal to the amount plus the uh, interest. So in this case, CN equals C0 plus IN, which is C0 plus C0 and I. So I can use this formula directly. So in fact, I preferred to use CN directly equal C0 into 1 plus IN. Now, Application. Consider a certain C, uh, amount C0. This amount is placed in a bank in simple interest for T years. Here, for T years, with a rate of I percent per year. Find the interest of this amount after T years. If T is in years, then I n equals C0 times I exponent T. If they gave us the time in years, so directly we can use it C0 times I times T. But if T is in months, so I'm going to divide it by 12 to transform it into years. So in this case, I n it will be equal C0 times I times T exponent T over 12. If T is in quarter of a year, 
What do we mean by quarter of a year? Yani quarterly means each three months. The period is uh, uh, each three months. So in fact, how many three months are there in a year? We have four times. The first three yani as four seasons. I n equals C zero times I times T over four. If T is in a half year, semi-annually, every six months is the, uh, we have uh, this period. So I n equals C zero times I times T over two. Now, if T in days, we use I n equals C zero times I times T over, uh, over 365 uh, days for a regular year. And as I said before, uh, T uh, C zero times I times T over 366 years for a leap year. If the time period is given between two dates, then the exact number of days of this period is obtained by counting either the first day, or as I said before, or the last day, but never both. Usually, we count the last uh, day. So this is an example here. We have an example here. Calculate the number of days from 15 February till 24 September of the same year. In fact, here, we know that uh, for an ordinary year, uh, regular year, uh, February is 28 days. Since we started from 15, I'm not going to uh, count uh, 15 February. So this is 28 minus 15 equal 13 days in February, in March 31, April 30, May 31, June, till September. The number of days between these two dates, between 15 February, and the 24 September, it will be equal 200. I'm going to add this. Okay, we add all the days. So in this case, we obtain what? We obtain 221 days. But if the year is a leap year, then February is 29. So in February, I have instead of 13 days, I have 14 days. Since the number of days is 222 days. So when we use the above formula, we will put 220. And when we use this formula, I'm going to put 222 days divided by 365 days. An example here. Hussain borrowed a, uh, for an amount of money which is equal to $4,000 for five years at 6% simple interest rate. How much interest is that? What is the value of the interest? Of course, we know here that the formula of the interest equal P, or I can say here C, and I can here use, instead of P, I can use C. Usually, we use also P for the principal or the capital C. Times R, which is the interest, which is I, and times T, which is also the time, as I said before. I is the interest P the principal or capital which is four thousand uh, dollars R is the interest rate six percent which is zero point zero six and the time is already in years five years I'm not, not going to divide by uh, twelve or uh, since that will be used for months in this case or three hundred sixty five four days since the time is already given in years uh, I uh, leave it uh, five years therefore I equal four thousand times 0 0.06 times 5, which gives us $1,200. After five years, this is the interest. So what is uh, the total amount? It will be 4,000 plus 1,200, which is $5,200. Now, this question is for you to solve. Now, Omar borrowed $2,000 for, uh, for uh, six months at a 12% annual simple interest rate. How much interest is that? I'm going to, in this case to determine uh, the, uh, the interest also. So if we have P, which is the capital or the principal, whatever, $2,000, $2, uh, $2, the interest rate is 12% which is 0 0.12, and the amount is six months. I'm going to transform it into years, where we divide by 12, which gives us 0 0.5 years. In this case, the interest is 2,000 times 0 0.12 times 0 0.5, which is equal $120. This question is for you to solve. Now, 
Mahmoud borrowed four thousand five hundred for Mathaya uh, dollars for two years and had to pay six hundred thirty dollars simple interest at the end of that time. What rate of interest did he pay? Here the question is to calculate the interest rate, not the interest. So I know the interest is six hundred thirty. The original amount uh, of money is four thousand five hundred and R. I'm going to calculate it and the time is two years. So we use the same formula. Uh, of course, when I say the same formula that we are going to use this formula, which is here P, here uh, T, and here uh, R. So I'm going to use it here. We obtain, uh, I think this is the required question. 630 which is the interest the original amount of money 4500 times the interest rates r times 2 which is the time we obtain r equals 0 0.07 or indeed 7 percent and these two uh, questions is for you to solve of course uh, if for each question i have four proposed answers you are gonna choose uh, which one among them is the correct answer uh, that's all uh, for this video uh, see you soon